What Kobe means to me in our business, um, we're well aware that our clients, particularly our public sector clients, want to capture as much as they can about their buildings in terms of their assets and the asset data. And Kobe is an excellent mechanism for capturing all the information that you're likely to need about the building or asset. Um, my view of Kobe is that it's a structured data set that uh, ensures that data is provided in a common exchange format uh, that can be used for handover information at the end of a project. Well, what Kobe means to Celebri is, I think, two things. First of all, it's an opportunity and it's a challenge. Um, to me, Kobe is a, a very, very simple concept. It's simply capturing asset data at the time that it's created. It's a discipline. Um, and the format of Kobe is actually presenting that information back to uh, the asset manager or whoever in a very consistent, standardised way, which will enable them to manage the asset in a better way and equally important to be able to compare similar assets in different geographic locations. Basically, when uh, a couple of years ago when we implemented PSA 1192 workflows, um, the major challenge was checking and validating the models. So from work in progress to shared, the model has to be checked, so we, there was a need for model checking and then we used Celebri for uh, uh, validating, validating the data against the model and we found out that Celebri, we can customize the rule sets and it gave us a freedom to customize it for um, like maze workflows and it was really helpful. Um, if we think of the way that Celebri works, what is it we actually do uh, with Celebri? We're, we're basically quality assuring uh, the data within a model. Now from a Kobe perspective what that means is that providing the model is accurate, providing the model is correct and providing the model has the data that is uh, compliant with the Kobe requirement then we can quite simply map that data into a Kobe format. The government mandate is very important to us because over 50 percent of Balfour Beatty Construction's work is for a public sector. So we understand their requirements and we have the policies and procedures in place to deliver on their needs. So it's very important to us that we have satisfied customers and we're seeing many benefits for us and our customers in the use of building information modelling. Um, project efficiencies, programme savings, enhanced safety and better data for our customers to help them manage their assets over the long term. In our public sector works area, uh, we have been investing in ensuring that uh, the project teams understand the drivers behind the government's BIM mandate and uh, training staff to ensure that they can deliver uh, the government's uh, BIM and soft landing requirements where they've been identified as uh, project goals. BIM is basically a process to do the job correctly for MACE and uh, we implement work workflows which like creates efficiency and lean, lean methods. Well we've identified over 60 benefits of BIM but I'll just give you three. We find that most of the projects using this technology uh, we have more uh, clarity of our work which leads to reduce cost, reduce program times and reduce rework. So overall there's less waste there's cost savings and increased client satisfaction. Kobe is here to stay as a concept because it makes absolute sense and there's no point trying to change something that makes absolute sense. But as we move forward into the big data environment it is likely that Kobe will transform from what is now uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a simple file based system into more of an integrated database system uh, where not only is the uh, model data being held in there, but the database is linking through to a multitude of applications uh, that are required in the facility management and the ongoing maintenance of the building. So that's the challenge that we have, but we still have the core capabilities to provide the service that uh, puts us apart, and that is to ensure that the data that is captured in Kobe, either Kobe 2015 or Kobe 2020, that the data that we capture is the correct data.